Hi YouTube, so in this video basically what I'm going to cover is what a lot of people ask me which is, I usually get asked it at school from children who watch my YouTube channel or just anyone really who say I'm getting a new leopard gecko, what do I feed them, what fruit or veg do I feed them? Basically, um, what's the word? Leopard geckos are insectivores, which is basically a carnivore. They only eat meat. So it is very bad to feed them fruit and veg. So if you're doing it, stop right now. And I mean now. Because it is really bad. But you can feed it to your livestock, which is obviously their life food that they eat. But basically in this video, what I'm going to go through is what to feed your live food. And also, if I have time, what is the correct stuff to feed your leopard geckos. I have already done that, but if I have time, I'll go through it again. So yeah, so first what I'm going to go through is the essential vitamins for them. It is very good to give this to them. So this is cheaper and easier to find. If I did find the Arcadia one, I would get it, but it's a bit harder to find. This is the Habistat version. It is very good. It is just vitamins. It's like a powder. And then you pour it into a cup like this. And then I just put some water in and mix it. I, If you put too less water in, it can turn into a very dry substance. If you put too much in, it's just going to turn into a liquid. I like it not a liquid, but not a paste. So I'm just going to mix this around. And I'm going to give this to my mealworms because they need some. They have some lettuce. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit more. It is very hard, this, because you never know how much water is going to go in it. You never know how much of the powder is going to go in it. And yeah, so in my opinion, what's best is when it looks like that. So it is like a nice paste, not too liquidy, not too dry. So I wish I had a spoon with this because I don't know where it's gone. But you know. I'm just going to try and pour it, so into the mealworm bowl it goes, it looks horrible, so just like that. I'm going to give them it all because these guys are like gannets. Also what I do recommend with these guys is they'll basically eat what you give them, so if you feed them too much it is just going to make the substrate that you buy them with in the pots just basically like a powder it's horrible and then you have to get a new load of mealworms straight away so also what you can feed them it is actually meant for leopard geckos and live and animals but you can feed it to them because on the pots it says these little jelly pots you can feed it to them but they are recommended for reptiles and amphibians some amphibians not all of them so yeah, you can feed them these. Also, I wouldn't recommend feeding them water because they'll drown in it and they don't normally, it's not the best way of just feeding them water in a way. So this is what you can feed them. I do have loads of it in these drawers if I can get one out. Okay. It is called bug gel. I get the one from ProPep. You just get a spoonful, put it in. Things like locusts don't you don't normally eat it as much. Things like mealworms do. So it is basically like a water with like a gel in it. It is absolutely fine for them. You can get them in balls. Some of them are like orbies. You can get them in tiny, tiny breadcrumb sizes, and you put them in water, and they'll grow up. That, but I just prefer the gel. So you put that in. Now what I what I'm going to go through now is what we can feed these in terms of veg and fruit now personally i don't really feed them fruit you can feed them apple apple in terms of fruit i'd recommend is the best thing to feed them um things like strawberries bananas oranges things like that i would not recommend because it's one of those things that just stinks the place out goes out of date really quickly and it's just horrible for them um what I do recommend is things like lettuce, cucumber, not really, pepper, no, because pepper really does stink. And I've fed it them before when I first started looking after these about four years ago now, actually. Um, 
I have a cough. Um, I used to feed them it. It isn't bad for them, but it just stinks the whole house out. So, yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I've been coughing all day. I need to put my hand over my mouth. You can. I also feed them things like kale, just like a, what you get in a normal salad bag, things like that. Tomatoes wouldn't really recommend because, again, it just goes mouldy and fluffy really quickly. Um, so, yeah, that is basically it. We've got some time because we're like five and a half minutes into a video. So I'm going to go through what these guys can eat. So, obviously, they can eat mealworms. I feed these to every single animal that I own in terms of amphibians, inverts, and reptiles. So that's quick. So, I was going to do a video on how I prepare my mealworms, but it didn't work. It shut off early, and I've already done it. So, obviously, you can feed them mealworms. As you can see, that is the dish. They've all gone to the bottom. That's buddies, and this is Diego's. You can see him in there. Um, you can feed them locusts. Which, these are not a size that I feed them. I do feed them bigger sizes. It is recommended for the size in between their eyes, but they can eat things bigger. So, that is a locust that you can feed them them. You can feed them dubia roaches. You can feed them waxworms, morio worms. Um, I wouldn't recommend earthworms. They're usually for things like Pac-Man frogs. You can feed them. What else can you feed them? Crickets. Crickets are good. That is part of their strict diet. So the most nutritious things you can feed them is stuff like dubia roaches, crickets, locusts, things like that. You can feed them hornworms, but I wouldn't recommend that to be a strict diet. Um, mealworms is something that you just have aside on a bowl change every two to three days is what I do. So yeah, that is basically it. I'll go soon I'll go through the care of a lot of my other animals. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe as normal, and turn on the notifications bell then you get every single video upload. Put in the comments what video you want me to do next or anything you want. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.